Has the Amazon affiliate update left your product comparison tables broken and you're looking for a quick solution to fix it? Or maybe you've heard how great product comparison tables can be for affiliate conversions and you want to try them out and build them for your own website. I'll walk you through how to do just that in this video. But first of all, hi, I'm Anna and I'm a blogger and blogging coach passionate about helping content creators get paid for their knowledge and expertise. In this video, I'm partnering up with the AAWP Amazon affiliate plugin to show you one of their amazing features, the product comparison table builder. I've been testing them out for the last couple of weeks and I am sold. Prior to building my product comparison tables with the AAWP plugin, I was doing this manually via another plugin that I found on WordPress. It was a lot of work and I actually have a separate video on how I used to do that. And you'll see there that there's a bunch steps to that process and I had to manually go in, grab all the product images, their titles, their prices, all the information and so on. And that worked fine until Amazon nibbed it in the bud. As of the end of 2023, you can no longer grab the Amazon product images via the HTML code. You'll notice that it disappeared from the site stripe and I have an entire video on that update, when it happened, what happened and what that means for you if you're a blogger and you share Amazon product links and images on your blog. But this left all my previously built product comparison tables looking something like this, broken and empty because the image codes were no longer functioning. And going forward, you can't build any new product comparison tables via the same means either. You might also notice that I couldn't really add things like the product prices in my tables. And I had to resort to saying check price on Amazon because of Amazon very stringent rules about displaying product prices. They basically will not allow you to display the product price unless you update it via their API tool or a tool that connects with that every 24 hours. Because you can say that a product is $12.99, but if people click on it and it's $15.99. Amazon doesn't want that discrepancy confusing people. This was especially annoying for product comparison tables because you're comparing all these different elements and features of a product. And the price is one of those things that people do take into consideration when they look at a product. So it's very hard to compare all these features and recommend a product over another for them to realize that there's major price difference where that price increase might not even be worth it. But with the AAWP plugin and their product comparison, and tables, the price can be shown and is updated automatically. So it complies with Amazon's rules. That alone is a huge improvement on my old comparison tables. But let me walk you through how I updated all my old comparison tables and I switched them over to AAWP. So the first thing I did is I signed up to use the plugin. You can use the link below to sign up, choose your plan and then install the plugin. This will generate the plugin file, which you just need to download, then head over to your WordPress dashboard go into plugins, add new, upload and pick a file that you just downloaded. Once you upload that, it will take you to the plugin settings, which will ask you for your license key. You can find this in your AAWP account and you only need to paste it in this one time. After which your plugin is activated and you can start using it right away. You only need to make sure that you're connecting the plugin to your Amazon affiliate account. To do that, just fill out the information required in the settings. Really important note though, this plugin, just like many other plugins that work with Amazon affiliate products, are allowed to pull essential product information, such as images, prices, reviews, ratings, and so on, and display them on your site with the Amazon API. The Amazon API is only available to approved Amazon affiliates who have gotten their first three qualifying sales and have gotten their Amazon approval email to confirm that their account has been activated. If you if you have these two things, you can quickly grab your API credentials by logging into your Amazon Associates dashboard, going to Tools and Amazon Advertising PA API, generate a new API key here, or manage your existing credentials if you've done this before, and copy your secret key and your API key. And then go back to the AAWP plugin settings, paste those in alongside your store ID, which again can be found in your Amazon dashboard at the very top and select your country of residence. So the main country you have the Amazon affiliate for. Remember, you can be an Amazon US affiliate, you can be an Amazon UK affiliate and so on. I recommend sticking with the Amazon US because you can monetize international traffic by setting up one link after. I have a whole separate video about that that walks you through, but for the purpose of this, just select your main affiliate account. Now the problem lies with trying to use these tools as a brand new affiliate. Let's say you've just signed up to the Amazon affiliate program and you haven't made those first three affiliate sales yet. You have two options. If you're brand new, don't despair. You can still use AAWP. They have actually just released a feature 
that allows you to use their plugin with all the features for three months for free before you get your Amazon API key. Remember, you get three months since you initially signed up with Amazon to generate those first three sales to get your account approved. So three months is more than enough time to make those first three sales. And with this plugin, you'll be able to create sending display boxes, product comparison posts, and more, which will allow you to make even more sales. To enable that feature, if you don't have the Amazon API, just go to your plugin settings and click on this box. Once you do get your first three sales though, make sure to go back, deselect that box, and then generate an API key like I've just shown you and paste it in there. This will ensure that it grabs even more information and is just a better use of the plugin. But my recommendation is that you try to get approved as quickly as possible. This will help you no matter what plugin you're using. It'll make sure that you use the full features that AAWP has to offer, and it ensures that you won't have to go back and remove and replace all your affiliate links if by any chance you don't make those first three sales in the first six months because yes if you don't meet that deadline your account will be closed down and you will need to reapply so to avoid losing all your hard work really focus on getting those first three qualifying sales in the first three months or so i've actually created an entire guide to help you get your first three amazon affiliate sales and you can actually grab the first chapter for free which is super detailed by following the link below or going to the sheapproach.com slash first three in this guide i go over all the amazon requirements to get your account approved what they count as qualifying sales how to get yours and the rules that you need to follow to make sure that you are on good terms with Amazon on the long run. It will basically help you make sense of Amazon's cumbersome terms and services for their affiliates, allow you to be a successful affiliate with them, and you'll be able to start earning passive income from promoting products that you love to your audience. But it's great that AAWP allows you to use their API-like features from the beginning because it allows you to display product images, which you cannot do as a beginner unless you have access to API. So that way you can start creating great content from the start. Then think of your your existing posts or posts that you want to create and what kind of product comparison tables you want to create for them. And I'll go over how I updated my product comparison table on the best foods for French Bulldogs. That's on my pet blog because yes, I do have more than one blog. And this is one of the product tables that was ruined by the Amazon update that I needed to fix anyways. So this tool came in perfect time. So here's how I did it. I went into the AAWP plugin, tables and add new. Then I built my table by choosing the columns that I wanted to show. For me, this included the product image, the price, the rating, a custom text box so I can add a little bit more information. This is great for comparing specific features like the model number, capacity, volume, brand, really dependent on the product that you're choosing, but a great feature. The title, which is the name of the product as well, and for the piece of resistance, the buy button. Pro tip, you can customize the buy button and even the look of the entire table from your settings. For my buttons, I went with the style yellow as it reminded me of Amazon, but you can also choose a color that fits your branding. And I also limited the title characters to 60 as Amazon sellers tend to have really long product titles for searchability on the platform, but it makes it look really cluttered when I'm sharing the products on my blog. And then rearrange the order that you've chosen at any time. I found that super customizable. To add the product, you can either search for them by name or go to the Amazon listings and under product details, you'll find the ASIN code. This is a unique identifier number for each product. So if you copy it and paste it back into the AAWP plugin, this will ensure that you've displayed the correct product and you will add it to your table. For any custom text blocks or columns that I've added, I've also filled those in with the relevant information. This can be a general description like what I've done here or you can choose a relevant feature that you're comparing. For example, you can choose grams included, calories, nutritional information. You can ask a question, for example, does this include grain? Yes, no, and so on. Then repeat the process for the other products that you want to add to your table. I usually pick the top three to four products as I don't want to overwhelm people with information. And I find that this looks best for these tables as well. So if I have more than three to four products, I'll usually include a couple of different tables, one under the other. Once you input all that, save your table. Then go to the post you want to add it to. And you can either copy paste the short code that you are provided in the short code box. I only needed to replace mine for this or go to add a new block, search for AAWP, select it and click on comparison table. This is the easiest way to do it and probably the way I will add it from this point on. And once you've created a table, you can quickly add it 
in multiple places or posts via this feature. Just name it something obvious so you can find it quickly. Then update and preview your post. I also like to do this to check out the table looks and to see if I want to make any changes, add any rows, change the order, etc. But I absolutely love how this looks. It's simple and to the point. It features all the information I chose about these products. The buy button is very enticing and things like the reviews and the price will be updated automatically if they change by a WP. I now have to go through some of my other posts and repeat the process, but I have a pro tip for you. If you're going to use the roughly the same elements for each of your tables, create a template. Simply duplicate a table you've created, strip it down to the essentials, and save it as a template. Instead of having to add all those rows again for future tables, just duplicate your template table. And all you have to do is just add the products that you want to display in each table. You can always customize it further, add more rows, get rid of some, etc. but this will save you so much time. For my next table, I simply found the products on Amazon again. I duplicated my template table and gave it a new name, added each product, filled out a short description about each, and voila, I was able to create a secondary product comparison table in under a minute with AAWP. I follow the same process to add it by selecting the AAWP table comparison block, choosing the right one and testing it live to see if I'm happy with the order and the look. And that's how simple it is. I will say that the secret to making really high converting product comparison tables is your product research and the features that you're choosing to display. So choose comparable features and keep it relevant to the product you're displaying. For example, dog toys don't really have that many features that you can compare other than shape, durability, size. Then for example, tech products, which will have a lot more that you will need to compare and things that people will want to see side by side. I find that these tables do great at the beginning of the post as it's summarizes some of your top choices, and then you can go in detail about each and every product in your actual article or blog post. Sometimes I also add these at the very end of the post to kind of summarize the information that I've relayed, but these product comparison tables convert so well because they are often the deciding factor for people who are actively looking to buy something, test it out on your own blog, and boost your Amazon affiliate earnings with AAWP today. Sign up now using the link in the description, and if you have any questions or problems with building your own tables, let me know. I'll see you around and if you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much.